In this video of crystal structure, we will learn about Miller indices, which is used to specify a plane or a direction of a crystal or a lattice. If you have ever read about Miller indices before, you would know that Miller indices is denoted by HKL. But this is a very important point that in which bracket HKL are written. Four types of bracket, round bracket, square bracket, curly bracket and angle bracket are used to write the Miller indices in four different conditions. Along with this, there is also a crystal lattice for which apart from three HKL indices, fourth indices I is also needs. We will learn all about this in this video. So let's start this video. Miller indices is used for two different purpose. First, all lattice points of the same lattice are in different different direction from the origin. In this case, Miller indices is used to indicate the direction of a lattice point from the origin or from a reference point. Second, a lattice consists of several planes. All these planes occur in a different orientations. In this case, Miller indices is used to specify the orientation of lattice or a crystal plane. The number of indices required to specify the direction or plane of a lattice depends on the dimension of the lattice. For example, one index for one dimensional lattice, two indices for two dimensional lattice, three indices for three dimensional lattice. In addition, hexagonal 3D lattice is the only lattice that needs four crystallographic axes to define. Therefore, to specify the plane or direction of the hexagonal lattice, four indices are required. If we talking about the notation of Miller indices, the Miller indices are denoted by HKL for the direction or plane of the 3D lattice. When we write Miller indices for the direction of a lattice point, it is denoted in a square bracket. If we write the Miller indices of the plane, we denote it in the round bracket. First of all, let's talk about Miller indices of the direction of a lattice point. To understand this, let us take an one-dimensional lattice whose lattice parameter is A. Means that distance between two consecutive lattice point is A. In such a way, to indicate the direction of any lattice point Q from a lattice point P, we draw a position vector from P to Q, in general, which is equal to an A vector where a vector is the lattice parameter and n is the Miller index of this direction. As we want to know the direction of the lattice point Q from P, the position vector R1 from P to Q will be equal to 3a vector. Hence, Miller index of this direction will be 3 and denote it in square bracket. What if we reverse the direction and write the Miller indices for the direction of the lattice point Q to P? In this case, the lattice point P is on the negative axis from the lattice point Q. Then the position vector of the lattice point Q to P will be minus 3a vector. But in the Miller indices notation, the negative number is written with a bar. Hence, Miller index of this direction will be 3 bar. This is a 2D lattice with the lattice parameter A in the X direction and B in the Y direction. In 2D lattice, the position vector joining two points will be equal to N1A vector plus N2B vector, where A and B are lattice parameters and N1 and N2 are Miller indices. For example, we have to write Miller indices for the direction of the lattice point Q from a lattice point P. For this assuming lattice point P as a origin, write the position vector for the lattice point Q which is 4a vector minus 2b vector. Hence, Miller indices of this direction will be 4 2 bar. A property of Miller indices is that indices must be smallest and simplified. If we take two common out of this Miller indices, then the simplified form of the Miller indices will be 2 1 bar. This is the Miller indices of this direction. One more thing to note here is that this direction can have many more parallel possibilities. The great advantage of Miller indices is that the Miller indices of all parallel direction is the same. We do not need to write Miller indices separately for them. This is a 3D lattice with the lattice parameter A, B and C. 
Hence, the position vector between any two points in 3D lattice will be n1a vector plus n2b vector plus n3c vector, where a, b, and c are lattice parameter and n1, n2, and n3 are Miller indices. To understand this, let's take a 3D cubic lattice with a lattice parameter a. To write the Miller indices of the direction of the lattice point P from the lattice point O, write the position vector for P assuming lattice point O is the origin, which comes to 1A vector plus 0A vector plus 0A vector. Hence, Miller indices is 1, 0, 0 for this direction. If we write the Miller indices in the direction of Q from a lattice point O, we get Miller indices 0, 1, 0. Both these Miller indices show two different directions. But if we talk about their magnitudes, then magnitude of both are equal. In this case, both Miller indices are called members of a family. Apart from these two, there will be four more Miller indices in this family. All these six are called members of the family of directions. And this family is written in an angle bracket. Hence, the square bracket indicates the Miller indices of a particular direction, while the angle bracket indicate the Miller indices of the family of direction, where 1, 0, 0 indicate the direction of the edge of the cubic lattice. In the same way, 1, 0, 0 indicate the face diagonal of the lattice. You can check the face diagonal's Miller indices by calculating yourself. Total 12 members are in this family. Similarly, 1, 1, 1 indicate the Miller indices of body diagonal. This family has a total 4 members. One thing to be note here is that these families of directions and their members are valid only for simple cubic. In other type of lattice, they are not valid due to different symmetries. In the part 2 video of Miller indices, we will learn about Miller indices for a lattice plane. Also, for the hexagonal 3D lattice, we will know the different type of Miller indices which is called Miller-Bravius indices.